Hey, hello. I hope you guys are doing well today. I'm Paul Apollonia. I do a lot of eBay selling and training. I'm also doing a lot of uh, selling on other platforms now, but eBay is my one that I sell the most on. Today, I want to uh, show you what I sold from between, I think I forgot the dates here, uh, January 21st, 2019 to February 3rd, 2019. Again, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, eBay sales have been okay. They could have been better, but a lot of that is my fault because I was not listing on a daily basis. I'm a true believer in that you need to be listing on a daily basis to have good eBay sales. And I specialize in basically parting out items to sell appliances, dishwashers, refrigerators, basically appliances, and uh, small engine parts, lawnmowers, trimmers, whatever I got my hands on, and whatever other items I can part out, electronics, you name it. I also do a little bit of thrifting. I don't specialize in thrifting or garage selling, but I've got a knack for doing that. And I also, whenever I'm at the dollar store, I try and grab things that will bring in a couple bucks. Um, I'm not going to tell you I make millions of dollars on each item. I average between uh, 12 maybe 10 sometimes even less dollars on an item uh, all the way up to i mean i've i've sold items for hundreds of dollars but between like uh 12 and 30 dollars profit is what i usually make all right let's get this show on the road number one sold a rolling pin from the dollar store not a high dollar sale i uh, the way I look at stuff like this is I was in a dollar store anyway buying things for myself and a few things to resell you'll see in some of these listings. And it's one of those things, well, it pays for my gas and it was a quick ship, went first class, didn't spend a whole time, a whole lot of time on the listing, basically brought up the uh, dollar store uh, website, looked up the item and took a lot of things off of there. Obviously, I keep my... Descriptions really short, as I've always said, because people are looking at the stuff on mobile phones. They don't want to read a whole lot about a rolling pin. This person got it, and she was thrilled. She even left me feedback, which is uh, almost unheard of today. That's excuse me, dogs barking in the background. It's part of our entertainment for the day, I guess. All right, next item here is a dishwasher rack. I do very, very well with these things. Uh, I basically look for uh, dishwashers on Craigslist in the free section, and I have an email alert. I've done a video on that already. If you want to look at my videos on how to create a Craigslist email alert, uh, they used to be really good at alerting you really quickly, but now it's uh, sometimes delayed. But I did get this... Uh, dishwasher from craigslist i think this was the run where i picked up actually two dishwashers i went to pick up a bosch which those racks bring in good 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 money and as i was down i got an alert for another dishwasher right in that area so that worked out good simple rack it's an upper rack easy to take out a couple clips on the ends of your pull thing when you pull it out and um it comes out make sure it's in good shape make sure there's hardly no rust on it this one was a little dirty i didn't really want to spend a lot of time in cleaning it right there i did state that it's dirty uh, there was no rust at all on this i have been known to sell these with very very minor rust on them another thing i also do in anything that i'm selling that i can have access to a model number uh, for the item that I'm taking out, I always take a picture of the tag so people know exactly what they're getting, what model it fits. This fits a multiple tude of dishwashers. Whirlpools, sorry, I thought I turned that off. Whirlpools, <clears throat> a bunch and bunch and bunch and bunch of different dishwashers. So basically same thing again. Um, I tell them what it came out to, uh, came out of, and I used the uh, eBay uh, product I found, and it defaulted all the uh, item specifics, which is very important. 
But yeah, there's a lot of money in these dishwasher racks. Sometimes they sell real good. Sometimes they can hang around for a while in your store. Let me um, turn that off. Sorry about that. Uh, here we go, a consignment item. I do a lot of consignment for people too. I love doing consignment. It is not for everybody. It takes a while to find good clients. I have been through heck and back with people doing consignment. A lot of people think their items are worth more than they actually are, and they're not. So I tell people I sell things at market value, whatever that may be. And if they're not okay with that, then I, I'll be honest with you, I just move on. Um, but once you find good people do consignment with, it is great. I love it. Great way of getting items for nothing. Got to hold on to them, but it's a great way to get them items for free and making a percentage. I charge 50% of the first hundred and it goes down from there. So this is a obviously a matchbox car, a vintage matchbox car. A friend of mine's father passed away, unfortunately, and he had a ton of these cars. I must have sold 20 to 40 of these matchbox cars, different types for him so far, making both of us lots of money. So $36.99. I actually change these all to free shipping because I noticed later on that most of these sellers are uh, selling them with free shipping. Um, I'm not a big fan of free shipping. I, I do it sometimes. I, I, I just don't like it because it uh, removes the discounted. Uh, if somebody wants to buy more than one item, you can't do a discount shipping, but it does give you better search results, so they say. The jury's still out on that. But basically, it's a Matchbox car. It looked brand new, but I did not put it new. I put it used, and I was real crazy with the pictures. I take lots of pictures of every item I'm selling, all the different angles. Uh, I think this went to Canada, and I do take the time to fill out as many item specifics as I can with items like this because I know a lot of collectors are looking for these. So there we go. I stated clearly there is no box. I think I even have that up in the title. No box because people are real crazy with the boxes. They want the boxes. And if it's not there, there's sometimes it's not worth nearly as much to people. Okay, we have a Briggs and Stratton gas tank. I saw a lot of these during the season. I'm actually surprised I've sold this many of them so far. And it's February 5th or 6th, whatever the date is today. I must have sold five of these already in the past uh, four weeks. So um, these prices have been going down because of uh, the Chinese uh, just uh, they were able to produce them really, really cheap. Uh, so even for the used ones, that's a good price. I make about 10 to $12, maybe $14 on these a piece. After all said and done, since I am offering free shipping, uh, shipping usually is about 8 maybe seven to nine dollars on these i know i probably repeat myself a lot with all my listings so i want to make sure you guys are clear on what i'm doing here uh here i show the gas cap off and i also take a picture with the flash on of the inside of the gas tank so they know they're getting a clean gas tank uh, i test these out by using hot water i boil some water and they say that's a test for leaks um, I have had, I've not had one be returned to me, so I'm assuming uh, that is working great for testing stuff out. Let's go to the next uh, listing. And here's an obviously an old uh, card game that, again, I'm uh, doing consignment. I also help people clear out storage units. I'm helping this gentleman clear out three storage units. It's taken us a long time to clear these out he's filling them up as fast as we're trying to clear them out but oh well um <laughs> this is just an item i didn't get much money for it uh i priced it low i probably could have done this on amazon probably could have gotten more for it but to be quite honest with you i wasn't sure if all the pieces and cards were in there and amazon's a little bit of a different beast than ebay they don't really, they just accept returns without even really contacting you, which is fine. You just need to understand that before you start selling on that platform. But whatever, I think I made like $7 on this board game after shipping and everything. 
it was good. It was a quick ship, fit right into a box I had laying around. Um, like I said, I took lots of pictures of the board game. Uh, there's some of the uh, cards and everything that's inside the board game. Let's go to the next item. <clears throat> Here I found this, believe it or not, I was uh, pulling out some bubble wrap from a big box store in their dumpster. Yes, I just dumpster grab. I don't dumpster dive anymore. It's, it takes too long and I'm too old for that. And I saw this laying in there amongst a the bubble wrap. I went, what the heck? I bet you I can sell that. And I did. I sold it within two days. Listed it and sold it. I'm assuming people are lose these tops for these container, containers. These containers are awesome. I actually had a set of these that I, I got from somebody else that was clearing out a storage unit a couple of months ago. In reality, I should have just given her money for them, but I sold them all. There was about six or seven containers I sold for her in a group. No, more than that. It was 14, actually, and they were awesome. I should have kept them, but oh well. So I made a little bit of money on this, maybe like five bucks on this, but pulled out of the dumpster, um, stated what it was, lid only, container lid only. Uh, I took the information right off the side of the container that was broken. And it says right here, taken over container that was cracked in transit, transport, and not responsible for part not fitting. He was happy. He was thrilled. He left me feedback like immediately on that item. It's going to be a lot of items here this uh, this time because I'm going for a two week period to get me caught up on what I sold on eBay. Here is an item I bought this whole vacuum cleaner. This is just the nozzle, the power head nozzle of the Electrolux. I bought the whole Electrolux for fifteen dollars at a thrift store. Anytime I see old vacuums, I just buy them whether they're working or not. I sold the vacuum itself as a canister vacuum, old Electrolux. I sold that for $75. I sold the hose for $35. And now I sold this for $34.99 plus shipping. It went right down to Charleston, South Carolina. So I made some money on shipping. I think it cost me $9 to ship it. Um, sorry, I don't refund on shipping stuff. People know what they're paying. And that's, that's just the way it is. Um, I spend time packing it. I spend my time and money in boxes, bubble wrap at times when um, I don't have the stuff for free. So this one actually was in my store for a long time, probably about a year. <clears throat> um, I stated it probably needs to going over. So that was a pretty good sale. I'm very happy with that. Here is another item I found in the same dumpster. I was pulling the bubble wrap out that I found that lid to that uh, container, believe it or not. A brand new, well, this is used, a used power head to a shark vacuum cleaner. I thought, what the heck? So I grabbed it. I could have gotten more for this because they were going for more. But to be honest with you, I just wanted to sell it and get it out of here because I've got enough stuff to deal with. And I made probably $23 on this from the dumpster to eBay to money in my PayPal account. That's pretty good. Uh, I love doing that kind of stuff. I love getting stuff for free and reselling it. I didn't go crazy with the listing. I actually looked up somebody else's listing to see what it was. I also Googled the uh, the brand, the um, the type of nozzle this is. I'll tell you, these shark vacuums are really, really neat. Um, if I were to buy another vacuum cleaner, I definitely would get one of these. I was also very clear on the damage that there is you see there's damage right there always show damage on the item damage right there and obviously i showed the side damage and the other side damage um i don't mess around i'm honest as honest as can be with selling stuff i don't lie to people if there's damage i want to show so they know what they're buying our next item i bought this at a thrift store for four dollars oh maybe three it was three dollars some kind of older scanner for paper. You lay it across a paper and you scan eight and a half by 11 sheets. It's not new by all means, probably about four or five years old. They don't go for a lot of money, but um, I think I made like $10 on this. <clears throat> I'm really clear. I power anything I have <clears throat> that I can power up. 
I always power up and show that it's powered on. And whatever I can access, I always show. I took the SD card out so they knew they weren't getting an SD card. And stuff like that. All different pictures inside of the battery compartment. If there's a battery compartment, I always show the inside of the battery compartment so they know what they're getting. And there's no damage. And I'm and I show what kind of um what I did. I scanned an item, didn't look real good on my computer, but I showed them what I scanned. And I show uh, little bits and pieces of the instruction manual so they know what they're getting. So that was a good sale there. Another dollar store item I bought. This is uh, with tax here in North Carolina, 107, 107, 107, three dollars. I don't make a whole lot of money on these. They make about four dollars and forty-five cents profit, but they go right into an eBay plastic envelope. Flip it around, seal it, first class, quick ship, and it's gone. So it's a quick four dollars. Actually, I saw quite a bit of these through the year. I'm surprised how many of these rooster ones I saw. I don't saw any of the other ones I have listed. Thank gosh I didn't buy a lot of the wine ones and the coffee ones. These rooster ones seem to sell a lot. One thing nice about these is, now I don't do this, but I know some sellers that do. Even if you run out and you sell one, you can always run to the dollar store and buy these. With my luck, if I did that, they would be out of stock and I'd be running all over town trying to fulfill a $4.45 order. I talked about these wiring harnesses in a previous video when I talked about parting out dishwashers, but I didn't have it available. Well, here it is. I listed it and I sold it. I didn't make a whole ton of money on this. Probably made about $17. It went somewhere overseas. I forget where it went. I use a globe, uh, eBay's global shipping program, GSP, you've heard it called. If not, that's what it's called. How it works is I don't have to worry, but I ship it to Kentucky, to eBay site in Kentucky, and they handle it from there. As long as I get it safely and I pack it correctly, and it hits Kentucky and it's packed correctly, once it's in eBay's hands, I am out of the picture. It can get damaged, it can get lost, eBay picks up the cost. Now, I've heard nightmare stories about people, eBay getting you involved again, but I have never had that problem. And I've been using global shipping programs since probably the day it came out. But these, um, these come out quite easily since I'm parting out the whole dishwasher as it is. I'm taking pieces off. So I just pull the wiring harness out as I'm going along. Again, I always have the model number that I from the dishwasher. And I also have the part number from the wiring harness or whatever I can have there. So again, I don't go crazy with the listing. I try and fill in all this and a little bit of the description. I'm trying to speed this up a little bit. We got few more listings here to go. I really appreciate you guys hanging in there. Here is a gas tank. These uh, items are obsolete. They don't even make them anymore. Nobody has them new. So people got to buy them used. They usually have leaks around the edges here. This is a very, very old one, probably about 20 years old, this gas tank. Very easy to pull off. How it works is it is attached to the engine with these two tabs. You just take it, pull it back a little bit. You want to break the tabs off and lift it off. And you pull your uh, your your line, your gas line off of here. And I always rinse out the tank. And like I said, I take a picture of the inside of the tank with the flash on so people know that the tank is clean. I also take a picture of the gas tank with the lid. Why? Because I want to make sure they know that they're getting the same lid that's in the picture. Sometimes there's a metal piece here in the, in the lid for ventilation. Sometimes they fall out. This one, it fell out. So I don't have it. And I want to make sure that they know they're getting a lid without the vent piece on there. I love selling this kind of stuff. It's a quick ship, easy ship, goes first class. I make decent money. I probably made about $19 off of this tank alone takes two seconds to pull it off, another minute to clean it up, another minute to list it, and it's gone. Sorry for the delay here. I don't know why this is all delayed. This was in a box, a shoe shine box. You've seen them, brown, little tab on it. You lift it up and all your stuff's inside there. From a consign, from the same guy that has all the storage units, I pulled these brushes out thinking, no one's going to buy these. 
who the heck is going to buy old shoe brushes? Well, I saw a few out there, and they were priced pretty good for old shoe shine brushes. Listed it, a little high, I thought, and I sold it. I couldn't believe it. I sold it. Probably within about three weeks, uh, it's gone. I took as many pictures as I could with the showing the brushes, tops, some of the names of the brushes, some you know, as, as much information as I can pull out of shoe brushes. Didn't really even go crazy with this listing and uh, sold it. Um, I've also been messing with, I've been using the uh, promoted listing option, which is way at the bottom of your listing when you're creating it. You'll see it. It'll give a percentage. Uh, they want you to do a lot, uh, you know, whatever the trending percentage is. I set mine all to 1%. Arguments out there, whether that's good or not. I am selling quite a bit through uh, promoted listings. What that basically means is eBay takes an extra 1% out if it sells. And if it's in promoted listings, sometimes it will be listed on the side. If you've ever seen those items listed on the side when you're looking at eBay, that is via promoted listings and some other avenues in eBay's uh, advertising. Here's another consignment item I got from an Amazon seller. Love selling for Amazon sellers. This was a return. There was nothing wrong with it. I've sold about eight of these already. This was the last one. Um, didn't make a whole lot of money on these. I was selling these for a lot more a couple years ago. I think the price is just tanking on them. So I get what I can for these. Uh, I made maybe $14 on this, maybe less, 12 something on this, but it was okay. In and out the door, came in the box. I just put a little bit of extra bubble wrap in there and made sure it was secure and uh, used the same box. It was great. Don't have to worry about getting another box for shipping. All right, these speakers, I don't even know where I got these from, to be honest with you. I, they were listed for several years, I'll bet you, at least a year and a half. Um, thank God I have a decent inventory system. I knew exactly where they were when I sold them. Because when I, when I, when I heard my little cha-ching on my phone, I went, uh-oh, <laughs> do I know where they're at? <laughs> I did. I found them right away, thank God. So um, made pretty decent money on these, uh, made money on shipping too, and I just got a feedback today on these. And he was thrilled. I made sure that I was very clear on please read. And in the description, I have notes about the damage. There are some marks right there. There's a close-up of that mark. I am very, very honest with marks and stuff. There's marks right there. Little marks there. Very, very honest. Showed a picture of what they're getting, the model number and everything. And yes, they work. They were actually very nice speakers. I probably should have kept them, but I, I try not to keep things that I want to resell. I'm in this to make money, to pay my bills and feed my family. Got four more items to go here, guys. Appreciate you guys hanging in here. Another gas tank, same type. Are these fit many, many models. Same thing I did here, picture of the gas tank. Now this one has the uh, vent thing, whatever they call that. I forget what they call it. I'm drawing a blank on it, but that has this sort of make sure they knew that they were getting that. And oh, I don't have a picture of the inside of the tank on this one. Ooh, shame on me. Sometimes if I can get access to it, I take a picture of the mower model number that I found. This was off of a Toro. FYI, either the model, uh, on Toros, the model number is going to be behind the flap in the back when you lift it up to take the grass bag off, or if you don't have a grass bag, it'll be under there. So that was another good sale. I love those first class, mail, cheap, even with the rate increase the post office just had. This is another item that I got from a friend of mine. I was helping him clear out his estate years ago. And these sell slowly, don't make a whole lot of money on these, but they are a quick ship. I put them in a, I put a piece of plastic, a piece of plastic, I'm sorry. I get a piece of cardboard and I'll show you what to do. I put all these obviously back into the envelope and I bend a piece of cardboard around that envelope, tape it so it doesn't get bent, put it in a big white envelope and I ship it out first class 
uh, via eBay shipping. I probably could throw a couple stamps on this and do it that way for a lot cheaper, but then I lose the ability to track the item. And that hurts me because I don't know where the item's going, what the history is, did it get there? And it also hurts me via eBay because now I can't track it via eBay and I lose the uh, top rated seller status on that item because I'm not tracking it through eBay. So I pay more to do it through first class through eBay, but it's okay. It's a couple bucks. It's a quick ship. I'm totally fine with it. Here is another item I found in the same dumpster. I was pulling out the bubble wrap and found the other shark attachments. I found this one too. This one was brand new. Sold this last week. Took as many pictures as I could of the item. I actually spent a little time on this and looked it up in Google and other eBay listings. Uh, found out all the information, what vacuum cleaners it fits. I always make sure I put this in. You're not responsible for part not fitting because I'm not. You really need to, that's, that's your responsibility to make sure this part fits. And if it doesn't fit, or if you have questions, please contact me. And rarely do people contact me, but then again, to be quite honest with you, I get very, very little returns. Knock on wood, or there you go. Oop, I didn't scroll this one down for some reason. This, I saw a lot of these in the spring and summer. They are the air filter covers for a Briggs & Stratton lawnmower. I'm sure you've seen these. A lot of people, they take them off. Oh, let me run in the garage and do something. They kick it under the mower or they run it over with the mower. I have done the same thing. And they don't have an air filter cover. So that's where I come in. Uh, these sell pretty good. Don't make a whole lot of money. I make about $9, maybe $8.50 after shipping and fees. But it goes first class. It weighs probably three ounces. And it's out the door. Two seconds to take it off the mower. One screw right there. One screw. And it comes off. I clean it up a little bit. I don't even go crazy with cleaning these things off anymore. Um, I make sure they see that because that is for primer. The lawnmower has a primer bulb. These fit both whether it has a primer bulb or not. Why these are not scrolling up? I'm so sorry. Here we go. The mother of all dishwasher racks. Bosch dishwasher racks sell really, really well. Uh, they may not sell quickly, but you will make a good bit of money. I made $59 on this rack in my pocket after shipping. Went to New Jersey, I think. Um, very excited when I see a Bosch dishwasher come up on Craigslist for free. I do my best to run out and get them as fast as I can. Let me show you some of the pictures here. There's your tag. There's that. I take a picture of every angle I could possibly see if there's any damage or rust. And there was no rust at all on this rack, which was great for me. So that is a, a, also another tip here on shipping these things. People ask me, how do you ship these things? Well, I've done bigger boxes, bubble wrap, put it in the box, more bubble wrap on top. That's great. That's really safe. That's wonderful. But I also figured out that if I just go to a big box store, either Home Depot or Lowe's, not the name names, but those are the ones I go to, get a medium-sized box that they sell for like $2.50, $2, $1.79, I forget the price. Come home, open that box up, cut the seam, flip it inside out so you don't see the logo, lay this on top of that box and just roll it in that box and then take the ends, cut them, fold them over, tape them. You're going to have to use a lot of tape, but it's going to cut down on your weight. It's going to cut down on your size. And I've shipped a lot of these that way and I've had any problem with damage or anything like that. When you uh, ship it, top's going to be, one side's going to be flat and the bottom, since it's an upper rack, may have a bulge from your uh, from that thing right there. But that's okay, that will be your top of the box and you're gonna ship it upside down basically. 
and I have not had a problem. I've shipped these. Post office, FedEx, never had a problem with these. So these are, I, I part out other parts off of these dishwashers, but seriously, I could probably just take the dishwasher, pull these racks out, and take the dishwasher right to the dump at that part, at that point. But there are other parts I sell, but I make the most money off of these racks. And this is our last item. More oven mitts. See, I told you, I saw a lot of these, a lot of these oven mitts. Like I said, don't make a lot of money, four or five bucks, but hey, in my pocket, quick ship from the dollar store, and it's done. So, um, hey, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I know it was a little long, but I had a lot of items. And I like to give you guys tips and tricks as I'm going along. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And please, please, please smash that old like button, that thumbs up button for me. And if you really love this, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. I try and give you guys value whenever I do videos. And I really enjoyed you guys watching. I also do training on eBay, Amazon, and other venues uh, via online, hangout, uh, zoom and other ways uh, at coffee shops in your home anywhere we can do as long as we have a wi-fi connection i also have a vimeo course on ebay beginner's course but has a lot of great tips on it and i also um, do training through lifelong learning in wake county uh this in raleigh through the school system at night look that up and i also run the ebay uh, meetup group been running that since 2013 get a, a good selection of sellers about 10 to 15 people showing up every month all that information is below please check all that stuff down below and thank you so much for your time guys and you have a great day